Welcome to United Coder video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to migrate to device farm desktop browser testing from your local Selenium web drivers. Recently, I got a lot of questions from test automation professionals in regard to running Selenium test on the cloud. If you open selenium.dev website, you will see a couple of Selenium level sponsors such as Browser Stack, Source Labs, Cross Browser Testing. If you have Selenium WebDriver framework, you can run your test using Remote WebDriver on any of the vendors cloud infrastructure. If your IT company is using Amazon AWS services, you can simply run your Selenium test on Amazon device farm. For more documentation, you can always open the website docs.aws.amazon.com slash device farm. Now let's look at the diagram. Let's say you have a local computer and you have a test suite for UI automation. And you want to run your test on multiple browsers uh, for compatibility purposes against your web application. You can run your test locally or you can run your test on the cloud. There are a lot of uh, messages you can run it. However, if you have Amazon AWS account, you can simply set up a project on the AWS device farm and you can execute your test on Amazon infrastructure. So Amazon will run your test and take a screen recording while your test is running and then return the test result to your framework. That way you can eliminate all types of configuration such as the operating system, the version of your browser and also the screen recording. When you use Selenium server or Selenium grid you can create remote web driver instance and then you can run your test. So there is a very good sample on this website in terms of setting up the project on Amazon device farm and then run your test. So all you need to do is you create an account on Amazon AWS and set up a project on Amazon device farm. So when you create a project, Amazon will generate a project ARN like this. Uh, this is just a sample. Uh, it will not work if you use this. So you have to create your own account and then you use that one. Let's say you log in the system and you created a desktop browser testing project under the Amazon device farm and you obtained one project resource ARN. So next step is you create a Java project and then in your Java project you need to include all AWS uh, SDK as Maven dependency and then you can run your test using a JUnit or TestNG. In order to access the Amazon device farm, depending on your operating system, you also need to set your AWS security credentials, like AWS access key and AWS uh, secret key. So you can use this Java example 
as a, the starting point uh, for your test automation. Let's say in this one, uh, this is a JUnit uh, framework. So you set up uh, a project. Uh, in this project, you provide the Amazon AWS device farm in the point. And then you create a device farm client. In the client, uh, you uh, uh, send the request uh, to the URL using a remote web driver. Instead of using local web driver, uh, you just use remote web driver so you can run your test on Amazon uh, Cloud. And once you have the test, then you can do a teardown. Of course, you need to add uh, one uh, test uh, between before and after. Now let me show you a uh, code example. Let's say uh, I created uh, one account on Amazon AWS and I selected the device farm. On the device farm, I created uh, one uh, desktop browser project. It's like a sample Google search. As you see here, the project generated one uh, ARN ID, uh, this ID. Uh, for security purposes, uh, I will disable this ID after the demo. So you cannot really use this. So uh, using this project, I was able to run my test three times. Uh, two times I ran the test using a Chrome browser and one time I ran the test using Firefox. Now let me uh, open the last one. Uh, I run it today. Uh, the duration is uh, 20 seconds. This test is closed. If I open this session, uh, you will see like a download video. Amazon AWS automatically uh, captures a video. So if your test fails, uh, you can play the video and you can find out the test failure. So Amazon uh, provides a screenshot. Uh, so it's easier to uh, check uh, any UI test failure. Now if I click uh, play video, as you see here, uh, this, this Google page opened and it searched for United Coder and it verified the search result. So the whole test took uh, 20 seconds and uh, this video is captured. As you see here, Amazon AWS uh, captured all uh, actions. It created a session, it submitted a post request and then session is closed it submitted the delete request. Depending on your configuration, uh, you can do a lot of customization uh, for your test. Now let's look at the code. So this is a uh, sample uh, project. It's the Amazon Cloud uh, Google Search uh, test. So in the uh, sample project, as I mentioned uh, earlier, on the uh, Maven uh, PAM file, uh, you need to supply Amazon SDK. Uh, basically, uh, you can find uh, related documentation on the Amazon AWS SDK uh, website for device farm. So you need to add uh, AWS Java uh, SDK uh, you need to add the device farm dependency and also you need to add a JUnit uh, 5 version so you can run your test. Of course, this is a Windows uh, system. So in the environment variable, uh, I set up the Amazon AWS uh, ID and then a uh, secret key. So for security purposes, uh, I don't uh, disclose that information. So now let's look at the code. So in this code, uh, I was using JUnit 5. So in the before all, it's a static void method. Uh, for the web driver, 
I used a remote web driver. This remote web driver is under the uh, Selenium package. Uh, org.openqa.selenium.remote remote web driver. So in this setup, I set up the project. And in the project, I provided the device form and the point. So on the, uh, I created the device form client. Uh, client is a uh, build client on uh, US West uh, 2 region. And um, I created the create test grid URL request. Uh, basically, it's using Selenium grid. So uh, this information uh, you can find uh, directly on this uh, sample uh, information. All you need to do is you just copy paste the code and then you replace the project AR, uh, ARN. So I created uh, the uh, response object uh, for sending request. Uh, to use a specific uh, browser, I use the Selenium desired capabilities. So desired capabilities, I use a uh, browser name is Chrome. Uh, browser version is uh, latest. Uh, platform is Windows. And then for driver, uh, I just use remote web driver uh, using this uh, test uh, grid URL. Uh, because test grid URL is, um, I pass the URL here. In the Google search, let me just uh, search for Washington DC. So uh, we will see a real demo. And this is a very simple uh, Google search. We open, uh, we maximize the browser window. We open Google and we find the uh, search element and we pass Washington DC. And then uh, for demo purpose, uh, I put five seconds slip time. Then I verify the uh, search result. Here I can uh, add one assert statement. Assert dot uh, assert true. Uh, search result uh, is displayed. And in the after method, uh, I just driver dot quit. Now let's run the test and uh, let's uh, see the test result on Amazon device form. So I click on uh, the execute uh, run or I can just directly uh, run this method here. So right click, uh, click on run. Now the test is uh, being executed. Since the test runs on the cloud, uh, it takes a little bit longer time uh, compared to the local execution uh, because uh, the project requires uh, authentication uh, against the Amazon AWS Web Services. But we will see the result uh, shortly. So while the test is uh, running, uh, let's check the Amazon uh, console and uh, let's uh, find out if the session is created and uh, uh, if the test is uh, in progress. So Amazon device form. Now I will open this uh, Google uh, search project. As you see here, uh, one session is uh, active. Uh, previously, we saw three sessions that was already closed. And now, as you see here, uh, this session uh, just closed. Uh, that means the test is completed and test passed. So we can also look uh, this Google search uh, test passed and the result displayed true. Now let's look at the video. So this is the last session. Now we can uh, play the video. So we should see uh, Washington DC search 
uh, in the screen. Yeah, this is the Washington DC and search result displayed Washington DC. In case you want to run your test against uh, Firefox, uh, you can easily uh, change this. Instead of doing uh, Chrome, uh, you can change the uh, settings to uh, Firefox browser. So that way, without changing uh, your browser, uh, you can run it. So browser name is uh, Firefox. Let's run the test again. And let's observe the result. Now the test uh, just started. Now let's look at the uh, device form and Amazon. So I open the uh, project again. The session was not created yet. Let me uh, refresh this. Uh, it is still running the test, so we should see the result shortly. And this UI also displayed uh, to get started. And they create a Selenium session. Uh, please visit the developer guide. So, as you see here, now uh, the session Firefox is active. Uh, the version is uh, 79 and the status is active. So, that means uh, the test ran against the Firefox. If you want to do a very complex uh, browser compatibility testing, uh, in your project, you can always include uh, the version uh, of your um, uh, browser, the type of your browser, and also you can do uh, the operating system. So in this uh, tutorial, I explained how you can run your Selenium UI framework on Amazon uh, device farm. Uh, if you need more documentation, uh, always visit the Amazon AWS Device Farm website. Thanks for watching.